What is going on YouTubers, Jay here from Maji and Jay. Today we're going to be talking about the Ram 1500 2017 model that I purchased back in November of 2017 brand new. As you guys know, I've been doing a lot of tutorials on how to do many upgrades on the truck, including the rear facing camera, the Tesla style radio, and all these great upgrades that I consider to be super valuable. And today I'm gonna to be talking about the headlights. Now keep in mind that this is only intended if you have the standard headlights from factory. If you guys already had the projector headlights from factory, then this video, unfortunately, it is not for you, at least for the headlight side. I'm also gonna show you here my OLED tube tail lights as you guys see right here and I'll be showing you guys exactly how to install it but for right now we're going to be focusing here on the headlights so these came the ones on the right came from eBay for about $300 and I think guys they look absolutely great they are the greatest out there so far in my opinion they come with the OLED tubes and it is exactly that white line that you see right there they light up during the daytime and then on the upper side you can see the projector uh, headlight and then you have your high beams which are the ones here in the bottom and also your signal light so they are 100% compatible again if you have these type of headlights which I did and I upgraded I already installed the left hand side of the vehicle and I'm going to do the right hand side of the vehicle if you're looking at it from the front but looking at it from the back then this is the right and that's the left of course a lot of people get confused so I'm just trying to be as detailed as possible so anyways guys the tutorial is really really easy first of all you must take apart your RAM I know there are tons of videos out there but I just decided to provide my own maybe it is a little bit easier for you so the first thing you must do is pop the hood open once you do so you're gonna see a cover with about approximately five or six clips on the very top you need something like this tool right here which is a pry opening tool so that you can release all those little clips once they come off the whole entire um, cover is going to come right off you put it aside then quickly after that you're going to need a ratchet with a 10 millimeter socket that way you can go ahead and remove four bolts that are holding the grill in place then right after you remove those four bolts you have to go ahead and grab the grill from the very bottom and just pull it towards you from the bottom towards you and the whole assembly is going to come off you put the grill aside as well quickly after this you're going to find two screws holding the um, headlights in place they are 10 millimeter as well you're going to have one on the very top right here okay you're going to have one on the very top and one on the very bottom so you must remove those two then you must locate your fender on the front side each side has a little opening and of course it comes with a clip so you use the same pry opening tool remove that clip and then you're going to reach a little latch that it's inside holding the back side of the headlight so let me show you exactly where it is connecting to so it is right here so you must lift the latch in order for it to be released then after you do that you go to the front side of your truck then you pull your uh, headlight out and disconnect two uh, wires that are connected on the back side one is for your parking lights and the other one connects the headlight and also your high beams your low beams and high beams are connected with one simple plug now keep in mind guys that one of these connectors has a um, red plastic that needs to be pushed towards the back side towards the wire side and that will enable you to pinch it and remove it otherwise you're not going to be able to take it apart once you do this guys, everything else is super simple. Let me go ahead and give you here a better view of the backside of these headlights. Right now you guys can see that we have that same simple connection, okay? And one of them goes here. This is where you're gonna install your parking lights. Now, the wire that connects to this parking light has the positive and the ground where you're gonna connect the OLED tubes, okay? Which is really, really simple. So what you do is you have to locate which is the positive and again the ground for the parking lights and it's actually the wire on the middle. So when you look at the assembly, it's gonna have three different wires. The wire on the middle is gonna be the red wire for your OLED tube. Then the black wire on each side is going to be the ground for the OLED tube. So what I did in this particular case, I went ahead and bought more wire so I could uh, connect it to the harness that connects to the parking light so I open I, I remove the tape that comes from factory just about the middle side of that long wire that sticks out I didn't do it exactly at the tip like many other people have done it they do it on the very uh, edge of the connector I went ahead more towards the middle side and I open the plastic I removed the tape I opened the plastic pulled out the wire cut it um, after cutting those wires 
I connected it, the orange and uh, red wire together and the black with black. And then after that, I used those connectors, those little red connectors that you guys see here. I went ahead and pinch them up and put them back inside of that little plastic um, uh, cable retainer. And then I added tape into it, black electrical tape. So now you see how I was able to pull out the red and the black wire directly from this uh, harness. And now I was able to connect it to the OLED tubes by adding the female and male connector that you guys see right here. And all I have to do now is just put it in there, add a little bit of black tape so that they don't touch each other. And that's pretty much all you have to do here for the headlights, guys. It is super, super simple. And of course, I have provided my email address in the description or on my about page. You can go ahead and check my email. In case you guys have any questions, I can even show you pictures. But here I was trying to be as detailed as possible on how to install these headlights. And here, of course, I have now completed the left hand side and the right hand side of the vehicle. And you guys can see how different it looks from having these standard headlights. I mean, don't take me wrong, guys. These are nice. They make the truck look nice. I mean, they're not super terrible, but these are definitely sexier. And you can't deny the fact that they look better. And of course, on the back side here, you can always uh, tweak the uh, bulbs in case they are uh, unbalanced. You can always balance it using these little, um, I call them knobs here. Uh, you need, uh, I think it's an eight millimeter socket in order for it to uh, be adjusted. And that's pretty much all you need. Oh, and I almost forgot here for the parking light, you need to remove this from your old assembly, okay, from your old uh, headlights. Just remove this tape that is located here towards the bottom side, and you're just gonna put them there, and that's it. Then the other harness that comes from the vehicle, the one that you connected, the red and black wire, then you're gonna plug it on the back side of this bulb right here, okay? And like I said, guys, it is a super easy step. That's all you have to do. So now here in case you guys were confused, this is one of the connectors right here. And then we have the main connector for your high beams and low beams right here, as well as the connection now that you created for your OLED tube. So it is, um, I would say a 20 minute process for each side approximately by the time you take off the grill and you do all that part. Maybe the first one is probably gonna take you 30, 40 minutes. The next one is gonna take you about 20 minutes because you already have everything taken apart. So I would say roughly about an hour to do the entire job. And again, guys, they look absolutely fabulous. Of course, you can let me know, you know, all the opinions that you guys have on the comment section below. But so far, I think these are the greatest um, headlights uh, available right now for the Ram 1500 between 20, I'm sorry, between 2009 and all the way up to 2018. Now, about the tail lights. The tail lights here, guys, these again came also from eBay. These were roughly around maybe $200, uh, $260 approximately. So they come um, ready to be installed with your vehicle. The cool part about these is that you don't need to tweak any wires. You don't need to do any cutting. They come basically just plug and play. And then here on the very bottom, you guys can notice how I have upgraded to the LEDs. And in case you guys can't see that, let me go ahead and take it apart. Here you can see that I have upgraded to the LEDs. So these are much better. And I have done this pretty much throughout the whole entire truck as it makes it look, I would say a little bit more modern and cool looking. Okay, so then you just uh, twist these um, underneath the assembly and that's what you have to do for the reverse light. But now when it comes to the wiring here on the back side for the brake lights, the signal lights, and even the OLED tubes, then for this part, you guys need to pay close attention. These wires right here, they already come connected from factory, so you guys don't need to do anything. And these are some sort of power converters right here. And you don't need to touch those. Again, they come included with your tail lights. All you need to do is remove here the connection on your old tail lights. You need to remove the bulb, okay? Of course, we need to do this part. This is um, inevitable. And then it's gonna look something like this, okay? Your bulb is gonna be connected here, and then you're gonna have the harness connected here. Now, what you need to do is look at the harness on your vehicle, and you need to connect it because, of course, when you remove the assembly, there are two connections, one at the very bottom for your uh, reverse lights, and then you have the connection for the main bulb, which is the one on the very top side. So once you remove those two wires, you need to pay close attention on which side it has the black connection. So when you connect it 
here make sure that on that harness that sticks out with the wires look and see which side has the black wires so when you look at the harness if the black wires on this side then you're going to mark this part right here black with a sharpie pen like i did so that way you know here when you connect it you're going to see a warning it says black to black wire so at first i was a little bit confused i went ahead and contacted the company they said no jay you have to go ahead and match the black wire with the black wire on your vehicle and that's when i got it so again make sure which side has the black wire on your harness that comes from the vehicle and then you're going to mark that side like i did and here you guys can see how we have all the black wires right now here on the left hand side that's exactly where it's going to go connected so here we can see the black wires are facing this side and when I connect the harness, it's going to match here perfectly well. Otherwise, you may burn out your OLED tubes and that's going to cause an issue because then you have to send them back and then they might give you a hard time replacing the product and whatnot. And by the way, there are two screws to remove only for the back uh, tail lights. You have the RT20 screws. So you're going to need one of these things right here. OK, the T20 bit. And that's all you pretty much need. You remove those two screws and the whole um, tail light is going to come right off. So now here you guys can notice how cool it looks from the back side and the front side. I think that now it looks slightly more like the 2019 model, even though these uh, tail lights do not go uh, around the edge like on the 2019s, but it looks very, very close. And a lot of people have approached me and said, hey, what kind of tail lights are those? Especially when I go to car wash and other people with uh, pickup trucks, either they are the same as mine or even different brands. They ask me, hey, where you got your tail lights from? And in this case, now I guess they're gonna ask me where I got my headlights from because Again, these just got installed today when I'm uploading this video. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to get a lot of comments for it, guys. And that's what I like. I like people to see something different on my truck. And these actually, I haven't seen one single video on YouTube. And that's why I decided to provide this tutorial for these headlights because they are the matching um, for the tail light. So here we can see the OLED tubes. They both came from the same company and they look absolutely fabulous, guys. I love the look. I love how... It makes the truck look more premium and more futuristic in my opinion. So with this being said guys, when it comes here to the headlights, they did a tremendous job on the road. The illumination does not get affected just because now you have a black background like you see here on the uh, headlights that I got from eBay. The quality is still the same. I didn't notice any differences whatsoever. And this is very important because you don't want to lose illumination. And at first I said to myself, well, if I did lose illumination, unfortunately they are going back because that will be considered a safety uh, concern right there uh, you know when you lose illumination of course you're not going to be able to see things the same way so to me that was a concern but after I tested them at nighttime they did a great job so I don't have any complaints guys again compare here to the standard headlights that came from factory and even here my tail light also did a great job actually these look great even during the daylight time because of the fact that well these are all flat here uh, from the back side so the uh, OLED tube does not get affected by the sunlight much and you can still see it now when it comes here to the headlights the OLED tubes do get affected a little bit but not too much you can still see it also um, but nevertheless guys both of them did a tremendous job I think that the quality is unquestionable about these they look like factory as well this is another thing that I like you know if I do upgrades that you know for them to look like factory I don't like when they look uh, you know fake or, or cheap it makes your truck just lose that um, you know that value it makes it look like a crappy truck so I think that these two items right here in combination will be great for any RAM from 2009 all the way up to 2018 if you don't have the projector uh, headlights but again, if you have even the standard headlights, I'm sorry, the tail lights for any of these models, they will still work for, for the headlights. It's going to be a different story. But this being said, guys, if you think this video was helpful, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to leave me any uh, emails. If you guys have any questions on how to install this, I can provide some photos to help you out. Uh, thank you so much for watching, guys. Subscribe for more, like this video, and I'll see you on my next one.